Hello, uh, boys and girls. Uh, hope you're keeping well. And uh, this is your time again, the children's uh, address. Now, this is information that has been sent to me from uh, World Mission Partners. So I'm going to share it with you. There may be pictures that will come up uh, in this talk. There may not. We'll just wait and see. How does that sound? But anyhow, I can remember, not that long ago, I was just a young boy, and I finished my first jigsaw. And I wanted my family and friends to see it. I was so proud of it. And I wanted to share my achievement with everyone. After all, it was something to be proud of. And perhaps it's been something you have done and you wanted to share it with your family and friends. And you can say to them, come and see. So I think the first slide, this is come and see. And there's a wee image of JMA there as well, which we're going to get into what that stands for. So we want to think of the words come and see. Come and see. So there's excitement in those words. I hope there is. So come and see what uh, these people, what uh, World Mission Partnership wants to say to us today. And it's an invitation to come and see something brilliant. So today in church, we are being invited to come and see all the wonderful ways that God, God's working in his world. And he works in our own community. But we must not forget that God is so big and he's working in all the world. So lots of children in our church, I talk about our church, the whole Methodist Church in Ireland, have been learning about a group in Germany called Inspire Kids. So there's a group in Germany that are called Inspire Kids. And Inspire Kids is the focus of this year's JMA resource. Now, what does JMA stand for? And I'm sure you know, uh, most of you will know, but for anyone who doesn't, JMA is Junior Mission for All. And it is an activity resource designed to help people learn about and engage with God's mission around the world, okay? So this year's JMA is about all about this group called Inspire Kids. And it is a community for children and young people. Um, and they come together, there's like homework clubs, there's girls and boys groups, plus loads of other fun activities. So a lot of people in Germany apparently do not know much about God. And so this team at Inspire Kids invite us to come, come and see their work. And I hope that there may be a slide that will come up. Uh, and it's a picture of the German flag and you see the J JMA uh, logo in that picture as well. So Inspire Kids is part of a community in Germany in a town called Schmitz. It's a special place for children and young people to go where they're made to feel like part of the family. And in Schmitz, there are many, many refugee families who have moved there from other countries. So it's a place where you make new friends, you meet new people. And a refugee, you'll be wondering, what's a refugee? Well, a refugee is someone who is forced to leave their country because it's not safe to stay there. So refugees leave their homes looking for safety and a new life in another country. So there are over one million refugees uh, living in Germany, with the majority coming from Syria. There's another wee slide there, uh, in our third slide, there's a picture of part of the team uh, of Inspire Kids. This is Michael, Karen and Sophia. So this team at Inspire Kids, they love Jesus. They want to tell others about him. And we can tell, I mean, we can tell people about God in so many ways. And the way that they're doing this is just simply through building up relationships, friendships, getting to know each other. And they do things together. And some of the things they do together is cooking classes, uh, baking, cooking, uh, where the children can learn to bake, cook, and then afterwards, of course, enjoy all those nice things that they have made. And apparently on Fridays, uh, kids attend fitness classes and they learn some martial arts. There you go. So all these activities are a great way for the children to have fun and to learn new skills, as well as making new friends. So very good. And in the next slide, that's just another wee picture uh, in the fourth slide of uh, some of the kids and they're engaging in some sort of activity. 
So our church knows how important it is to invite people to come and see what God can do. And last year, apparently, it was very hard for lots of people, as it has been for us, as they couldn't go to school for a long time. Um, and they were not able to visit friends and family. They weren't able to go to clubs in the same ways, in the same ways that we have been affected uh, through the coronavirus. So come and see. In the last slide, that's just come and see. So God hasn't stopped working in his word. And places like Inspire Kids find new and different ways to share God's love and to remind people how much God loves them. So let us remember that God is always doing great things around the world. And let us take time to come and see what they are. So I hope that has been helpful for you. And I want to close this, this time with a prayer. Um, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for Inspire Kids in Germany. We thank you for the staff team there and for those who come along to be part of the community. Thank you for the positive presence that they generate there. Help Inspire Kids to continue and may they continue just to shine for you. And we pray for the children and young people at Inspire Kids and that they will uh, know your peace and your love in a personal way. Thank you for the different programs in Inspire Kids and that there's something, uh, just we just thank you, there's something there for everyone to enjoy. And we thank you that we can all shine for you wherever we are. And we ask you these things in Jesus' name. Amen.